129, just right off of 129, as you can see, that's heading north. Um, we're at a cemetery. Uh, we don't really know anything about this cemetery, so some old guy told us about it, said it dated back to the Civil War. Um, we're just north of Live Oak, probably, I don't know, five, ten miles, something like that. Not too far from the springs, the, uh, the, uh, oh, come on, can't get my words. The Swanee Springs, thank you. And these are all peoples, P-E-P-L-E-S, -E -E peoples in here. So this must be the peoples family. This must be some other kind of family because this is all roped off or fenced off, I should say. And then there's ones, there's uh, plots out here that aren't that aren't part of it. They're, they're more or less outside the fence, on the other side of the fence. So we don't really know anything at all about this cemetery. It's older and smaller, more or less obscure. It's not in a population center. It's not a big town. Ooh, I'm sure there are no snakes there. 1917, 1839, 1917. Nice. Don't know if there are any back there. Burial grounds like this, they could have buried people unmarked, as we've seen in other cemeteries where archaeological excavations have been done. There's this beautiful grass, this North Florida grass. You're out of the South Florida scrublands, and you're up into the North Florida lushness. Spencer, 1853. This is an 1853 burial. This 20-year-old woman died in 1853. Say 18, yeah, 1863. Killer Frank, Kyler, I'm sorry, Kyler Frank. Ten years. Wow, ten years old. Man, tough to lose a kid to death. It's one thing to lose a kid to his mother going nuts, but another one to lose it to death. Here's a rebel captain. Captain Company C, 10th Florida Infantry. Served his country. The duty called. Okay, so the captain over here was a Frank. These are all Franks. 10 years old, 1894, 1910, 1916. He's fairly old, that's his mother. It's 41 to 10, so that's 70, almost 70 years old. You know, we're coming into the people's plot, people's. There's 1896, 1902. This was obviously a prominent family in this area. And they have pretty much this whole plot. This is 1973. Back in there. 1919. Okay, that's much newer, 1920. So 1895, I think are the oldest we're seeing for this particular family. The compelling part of this cemetery to me isn't the importance of the people buried here is just the, the small
smallness, the roadsideness of it, the fact that it's right on a road, a major road, and there seemed to be a continuity of people buried here. So I'd like to try to learn more about these people, the McCalls, the Peebles, and the Franks. And apparently they, you know, intermarried and that sort of thing. So that's it, it goes from there to here. It's very neat, very neat. And a couple of the people who weren't part of the kinship. This is obviously a new fence, that obviously isn't. At one point, something fell on that fence, damaging it, they chose not to replace it. And they just kept it here. There were, it's like there was a brick foundation that these posts on that wrought iron fence are founded on, or, or the, the foundation for that fence. So that's kind of interesting as well. Um, anyway, this fence got some damage too. It looked like over the years there were trees nearby that fell over, damaged the fence, and and just remove the debris. So these are kept up on the left side. Okay, so anyway, we're gonna move on down the road and see what else we can find.